intermediate Reddit advertising. Go into create campaign in the Reddit ads manager. And what you'll see here is you have a variety of different options, brand awareness and reach, traffic, conversions, video views, app installs, catalog sales. With the beginner Reddit ad, what you're probably going to do is run only one of these campaigns. You're going to decide, okay, all I care about is conversions, sales on my e-commerce site, leads on my website, something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to have three different campaigns, one for brand awareness and reach, another for traffic, and another for video views, and then compare the metrics across those. You can see here that I have three different campaigns that do exactly that. We have a video views campaign, a traffic campaign, and an awareness campaign. And if we look at some of the metrics, for example, CPM, we'll see that the lowest CPM was an awareness campaign. So that's exactly what you would expect, is that the cost to reach a thousand people is going to be cheaper when you're telling the, the algorithm or the AI, I want the most awareness for every dollar spent. But there's something surprising here, which is that the awareness campaign also has the lowest cost per click, when really what you would expect here is the traffic campaign to have the lower cost per click and the higher CTR. But the CTR is actually highest with the video views campaign, but the CPC is also the highest with the video views campaign, uh, even though the cost per click is lower with the awareness campaign. So what we're going to investigate here is why the awareness campaign is doing so well on almost every metric. And let, let's take a look inside here. And there are a number of different factors, but the most important one here is that in the awareness campaign, I decided to create two different ad groups, one where I'm targeting a community or subreddit, and the other where I'm targeting a keyword. So here I'm actually targeting people that are actively searching for a keyword that's relevant to me. And that's why I'm able to get a, a, a higher cost per click and a, or excuse me, a higher click through rate and a lower cost per click. So what's probably happening here is it's not actually the fact that I'm running awareness as a campaign that's making the metrics better. It's that the, the targeting parameters are better. The other thing to note, and this is true across the different campaigns, is that cr the creative is also having a considerable impact on the metrics. So this particular image ad is doing much better than this image ad. We can see the cost per click is about a third and the click through rate is about three times higher. So some of these little seemingly tactical decisions, such as whether do I target a keyword or community and whether I use this image ad versus this image ad, uh, can have a high impact when you're running Reddit campaigns. Now let's take a look at what's effective here in terms of the image ad. And I find in my limited experience with this campaign that the, the images are getting higher uh, click performance than the uh, videos. So uh, what we see here is we have the card image, which is the larger image, and then we have the thumbnail image. So one thing I did was I optimized the thumbnail image, which is 400 by 300 pixels. And this is how it shows up uh, in conversation. So this is another thing that's important is when you're doing keyword targeting, you're gonna be forced into the conversation placement. So the, it, it's not just about the targeting, it's also about the, the placement that you're forced into. Uh, rather than sort of the standard placements. This is the second image and that is not performing as well. And it's actually not considerably different from the other one, except in terms of the creative, but in terms of the messaging, we can see that the this one is a bit more uh, customer centric, telling them what you get out of this, you get to master marketing, whereas the other is more brand centric, which is focused on uh, my brand name, my personal brand. So um, that that indicates that you really need to know what you want here. Uh, do you want people to remember your brand or do you want people to click your ad? And there's a huge difference there. And that's one of the reasons we have different campaigns and why we measure metrics differently. Let's take a look at the video views campaign. So I've checked this off here to make sure that I'm getting data just on this campaign and not these other two. And then we can take a look at the individual ad group and we can see what information was set in here. So let's take a look. 
Okay, we can see that we're targeting a community, not a keyword. So that's something else we will want to test is do the videos perform better targeting keywords, uh, which is actually going to be a broader audience in this case. And then we can take a look at the ad itself by going back, going into ads, and hit edit ad. One thing to notice about the AI here is you could have chosen just to go with choose a different post. That way you don't have to constantly create new ads. You can just see what already exists and select one of those options. So this is the video. There's a little bit of text above the video. We can see what it looks like in the different views here. We can change the thumbnail that shows up or the kind of the little preview of what the video looks like by clicking that. Uh, we put the destination URL here. We can change the call to action to watch now, view more, learn more, et cetera. We can allow or disallow comments. So far, the video view campaign has a pretty high CPM compared to the others. Pretty high cost per click, but we only have one click. About a half a percent CTR. That's pretty typical across different platforms. Uh, but what might be interesting here is looking at breakdown by country, by region, uh, by community is not going to be relevant in this case. Uh, interest, perhaps, placement, perhaps. Let's take a look at that. Okay, all the placements are only on the feed. Now I'm going to delete this breakdown and we're going to look at another breakdown. So let's take a look at interest. You can see that it's not giving us anything. If we break down by country, we get some interesting data here. So surprisingly, uh, the United States is is pretty well represented here. That's not usually what happens. Usually what happens is you get uh, cheaper on competitive countries overloaded. So it seems to be a bias in this particular targeting on Reddit uh, towards domestic USA. Uh, probably just a reflection of the platform, perhaps being more dominant in the United States, unlike something like Facebook, which has grown considerably internationally. So to get a 1.8% a click-through rate is, is considerable when you compare to other platforms where you might get a half a percent, especially for this, which it wasn't even designed per clicks. It was designed for video views. As you get more advanced with Reddit ads, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to have full funnel campaigns that use different campaign types. And you want to make sure you're monitoring the metrics for things that are a little bit odd. So for example, why does your awareness campaign uh, have lower cost per click? That's something to alert you to a problem that perhaps there's creative in here that's better for traffic, better for clicks, perhaps also better for conversions. And as you start creating a full spectrum marketing campaign, uh, you can optimize each of these, some for awareness and memory, others for consideration, others for conversion, uh, rather than just doing what most people want to do in, in marketing, which is just go for short-term sales. And the reason you don't want to do that is because it's, A, it's inefficient. There's only a small fraction of people that are going to buy right away or even in the next few weeks. What you really need to be optimizing for is long-term customer acquisition. And that means influencing people today so they will buy from you in, say, six months from now.